Hello, and welcome to City Bound. This is a city building game that is under development. Um, I have been following this uh, for a long time since it uh, first uh, came up on the radar when I was back uh, a regular on Centropolis forums. Uh, the developer, who is a, a, a young man, uh, I think out of Germany, though I, I couldn't tell you where he's living now because he's lived, uh, since he started, he's lived in Russia, and I think New Zealand, and I don't even know where else. So uh, this, this guy's been kind of globetrotting a little bit, and uh, as far as I can tell, it's just a one-man band, though he is kind of using... The resources of the internet and and the uh, everybody around him uh, that is following this game to try and help build this. So he the way he's gone done it is you could become a patron here, um, and uh, if you like this game, if you like what you see today, um, I highly recommend it. I think uh, this game is going to end up being a, a fantastic game personally. Um, so. I think uh, you should definitely go and 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 support this guy. Uh, but besides that, uh, his this, his name is Anselm Ekoff. I'm sure I totally totally butchered that name because I'm American and so I only speak American. You know what I mean? So An Anselm Ekoff is that what they call it? I don't know. But anyway, so my apologies. Uh, to to you sir uh, i know you uh uh do some great work so so don't take it as anything but a compliment um in any case uh i just loaded this thing up so basically all i did is i went to the the um subreddit uh and there he had a link to the latest build i downloaded that latest build and then um when i ran it this came up uh it said connect to your Please connect with your browser. So I opened up my my browser here, and um, I just typed in the uh, little what was in the box here, and into the the address bar, and this comes up. And so this game is basically you don't it's, it's very light uh, to my understanding, and and understand my understanding is very limited, right? I I'm not a programmer. I don't know really much about code. I've I've done some very super duper basic uh, HTTP uh, or HTTP. I don't, see, I don't even remember what to call it because I it's been so long. It's been like 15 years since I did it that I don't even remember that much. Um, but I, I play a lot of these games. You know, obviously I make uh, these videos. I've, I've been playing City Builder since SimCity 2000. And um, I've been an avid City Builder and Sandbox gamer ever since. So, uh, this definitely falls within that wheelhouse. Um, and so, this comes up. I've never, I have, I've yet to really mess around with it. So, this is going to be a truly uh, let's play experience or let's try experience. Um, and we'll see what we do. So, uh, this is a live build of Citybound and thus it's not a stable release. So, um, you know, if you're going to do what I'm doing and, and try it out, um, don't expect this to be a finished game okay it's 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 still in the early stages um coding uh is still happening but uh seeing it from the beginning i i can tell you that it's come a long way and um i have every faith that it's going to go a long way um and so it might not look as snazzy as like sim city 2013 or city skylines but I think in the end, uh, it's going to look just as great as those. It's probably going to be a little bit more stylized than those. Um, and I think some of the ideas that uh, he has been working on to like build roads and, and how everything is supposed to be procedural um, are really going to um, give a different experience, and, and, and that's probably going to be a good thing in this particular case. Now, let's look here. Um to do so these are the things that he still has to do these are the things that he has done okay so he's got his own to-do list uh, we got credits here developed by Anselm Akoff um, and again I, I completely apologize for my butchering uh, the Americanization 
of your name uh, and so um, with a generous support from these patrons here so oh wow uh, that popped up so uh, let's uh, go ahead and thank all of these folks for uh, supporting this game and uh, like I said I encourage you to become among them because they are they, they are fantastic uh, I think this game is gonna be great um, so we got settings control so let's go to the tutorial here so please note this tutorial is super bare bones but it should get you going um, click the pencil icon to go into planning mode uh, I see it down here. That's the pencil. Okay. And then planning roads. To go to road planning mode by clicking on the road icon. So open project. Hmm. Where's the road planning icon? That's inspection. That's planning. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I just type in a project name. I don't know. So I'm guessing here uh, we're going to go with, uh, I don't know, we'll say uh, test 01. Swifty Spider Test 01. Enter, nothing. Yeah, so I'm I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. I'm not sure what to do. So that actually brings this up and down. Um, I don't see the road planning tool. Is it just not popping up? Am I an idiot? Which is uh, likely the case. I'll I'll grant you, but um, I don't know. So go to the road planning mode by clicking the road icon. Start a new road by clicking on the map and continuing to click and add notes, etc. Uh, planning zones go to the zone planning mode by clicking on the zone icon next to the road icon. Oi. Um, and then to implement, press implement to implement your project plan. Okay, further steps, speed up time, use the slider next to the clock here. Um, roads that lead further away automatically get neighborhood neighboring town connection. Or when it hits a white diamond these move as you expand your town interesting great so this is already a different way of exp of uh, how how the region is figured out or uh, the map if you will um, obviously right now I, 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 I don't know last time I had checked there are no I wonder can I move around in here how do I move around so I feel like I, I don't have much to be uh, that I'm capable of doing right now because I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's because this build is broken or I'm not doing something right or what. So all that great talk about how great the game is and, and I do stand behind that even still. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I'm sorry, buddy. Settings and controls. Let's go here. Okay, camera. Uh, meaning of scrolling, zooming, panning for a multi touch trackpad. Um, pinch to zoom. Pinch to zoom. Um, let's turn that off. I mean, I, I, I don't have a touch screen here. Uh, zoom sensitivity, pad with mouth, pan with mouth shift. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, okay. So I'm press. I'm holding down shift, and now I'm moving my mouse around, and so it's allowing me to now move around. I can always zoom in and out. Great. Looks like there's just a, like a small little area with trees to start off with. Um, okay. So I'm. I'm finally. I'm. I'm. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yay! I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. So uh, pan sensitivity, all that stuff. Okay. Uh, planning, implement plan, undo plan step, control enter, and then control Z, redo, control shift Z, finish gesture, double click distance, okay. 
oversampling retina factor. Okay. So I got a little something, but I still don't know where my... I wonder if I need to like start a project. Here, I'll just click on that. Oh, okay. So I, I guess the whole time I just needed to click on that little project E18, whatever that meant. Um, okay, and so now I got these extra tools. So there's my roads, there's my zones, and there's my implement. Okay, now we're cooking with Crisco, people. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out so I can use my whole screen. I'm going to shift, move around. I don't know. I almost rather this be a space bar. I wonder, can I, can I change that? to be a space bar. Um, no. Oh, there we go. Let's see, where's space bar? Space. All right, cool. So now let's try it. Okay, you can't right click. So, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Oh boy. Okay. So the controls are already kind of giving me some. They're, they're not as intuitive as I would like. Rotate with mouth. Up. So, uh, I didn't change anything there to my best to my best knowledge. Okay, so it's still not a space bar. Space bar actually opens up this little menu here for whatever reason. But I got to hold shift to to pan around. Okay, so now I got the row tool, so I can click. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. So maybe I need to re-click on that. I don't know. Uh, I can tell you I'm already having some difficulty with the, the controls. It's not very intuitive to me. So maybe do I need to have this up in order to be able to, to do it? Hmm. Implement. Maybe. Uh-oh. I think I messed it up. I don't know. I'm clicking around here and it's just not doing anything for me. So let's try redoing that. Oh, okay. Simulation broke. How to report bugs. Um, go to there. What happened? Expected gesture. That point should be added to, to exist. Where it happened at that place right there, line 1008. Where exactly? Stack, backtrace, okay. So, um, I guess I go, I'm gonna copy that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to pull up my, my Chrome here. And go there. Um, first, look for your issue if it's already been reported. So I'm not going to report this right now because um, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to debug right now. I'm just trying to to show the game off. So let's go ahead and close this out. Okay. So um, hopefully, Anselm, if you uh, you take a look at this, you you know what's going on because I I clearly have no idea. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, I, I feel like almost this video is going to be a little bit painful to watch. It's kind of like watching a seal or like a whale trying to, to, to navigate the city streets of San Francisco or something like that. It's not going to work well. Um, so let's go ahead and try and start it over. So I'll see you in a second here.
Okay. So you can't, you can't just type it in. Okay, so uh, let's go for try number two. So we're going to go HTTP, uh, localhost, one, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. So we got city bound back up. Let's maximize that sucker. Okay, we're going to go over to this. We're going to click on project this. Now we got, looks like we got a different project number here. Now we're going to click on the roads and let's see. Yeah, okay, now we're now we're cooking with Crisco, okay? So I'm just, uh, I'm left clicking here, left clicking there. Um, looks like I can affect the curve uh, from the previous segment, if you will. Um, and so I'm just gonna draw something out here to see how it works. Oh wow, that's interesting, okay. Um, and let's click to there and oh wow am I breaking it I'm breaking it okay how do I oh boy oh geez okay now what do I do I, I, I want to stop I want to stop let me off let me let me off <laughs> let me off <laughs> okay tutorial To finish a road, double click when placing the last note. Okay. So I'm going to control Z a couple times and I'm going to double click. Okay, there we go. And so now it's done. Okay. Now um, you can move control points of existing points around, but nothing more yet. Delete, extend, road yet. You can't do that yet. He'll get there eventually. So um, then zone planning. Let's go to zone planning. And so we got what zones we got? We got residential, we got commercial, we have industrial, we have agricultural, recreational, and official. So we're gonna zone everything. There's no ploppables in this game. Everything is going to be, uh, how do you call it? Okay, I'm gonna control Z a couple times. Um, I want it to go. Uh oh, I think I broke the game. Did I break the game? And I broke the game. Okay. So, as we can see, this is still a very early build. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. But, um, oh, man, um, it, I, I, I'm still excited, even though I didn't really get to play as much as I thought I might. Um, I don't know. Should I try one more time? Should I? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. So we'll try one more time. All right. So we're going to try one more time. All right, so one last time. Here we go. All right, so Project 185. Come on, Project 185. So I'm just going to do something really simple here. So it looks like you can't self-intersect roads yet. That that might be something that helped break the game. Okay. So there's a little city here. Now, let's do some residential zoning here. So residential looks like it's uh, kind of a yellow color here. Hmm. Okay, then we'll come out here. 
do it like this. And I don't mind doing like something like this. All right, and I need it to double click, so double click. Okay, yeah, double click, okay. So let's zone some official. Um, so offices, or is that like your city city hall kind of stuff? I'm not sure. All right, and um, recreational. Let's stick a little park in here. Right, right in the middle of our town. Now you can overlap zones to my understanding. Yeah, see, see how that uh, zone overlaps. So that's a big difference between pretty much any city builder I've ever played before. Is you can overlap zones and have mixed use, which I think is fantastic. Um, I have some agriculture out here. Make it big. And we'll call that da done. Um, and let's do some commercial. Okay. So let's make this like our little office park here. Or our, our, our little, or where we put our shops. And we'll put some more shops over here. And we're going to have some mixed use here. And yeah, let's try that out, see how that works. All right. And then we're going to implement. And we're going to speed up time. Not too fast. I don't want to break anything. Well, let's see how what we get. Oh, we got some buildings. There they are. All right. So I'm on, I'm on the fastest speed 32. I got some buildings going on here. I click on the building. Is there a way to select the building? Inspection. Maybe I need to be. Ah, oh, look at that inspection. Mode. Okay, so we got a family house here. Family number five. They are eating uh, three units of groceries. Um, up, 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 and they now they're off. Um, and so, my understanding is that. Um, the Sims or uh, the city bounders or whatever we're going to call these little guys, they are persistent. So um, they have a place to work and they have a place to live and they will um, have consistent economy going on. So um, they have wakefulness, they have satiety, which is how hungry they are or how not hungry they are, I guess, te technically speaking. They have money here, they have groceries. And so there's actually like an economy here. And look, we got a, a, a field here. Um, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. And these buildings are already looking uh, cooler than uh, the last time I had paid attention to this game. Which, uh, admittedly, has been like, what, six months, eight months, something like that. So, uh, this is pretty cool. Um, so it seems like he, he's, since the last time I looked, he's really got a lot of figured out. I love how you got these little fences here, and look how natural looking they look. I mean, that looks, it, it's following the, the random borders. Looks like you got a little bit of glitching out going on there, but that's understandable so early in the game. And look, you got it wrapping around the cul-de-sac there. I love that. Um, you know, this is pretty cool. Um, it seems like it's, it's, it's working. It's alive. It's alive. Okay, we finally got there, guys. Um, and, oh, man, I'm loving the look of this. Um, you know, obviously, I, I think it's, it needs some refinement, but I love the look of the, the plots of land, how the the fencing um, is automatic, and it kind of borders the, um, the outlines of things, so it's very natural and natural-looking. It's not so... You know, other city builders, you got either a grid or... Um, you st it's it's a grid, but it's there the, the elongated in uh, SimCity 2013, and then obviously going back to SimCity uh, uh, four and uh, three thousand and two thousand. You know those games uh, were two D, not three D like this. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
So I wonder if there's a way to go back to just being able to move around because I'm pressing shift here and I'm not able to uh, move around. Now, I, I kind of don't want to do much more because I don't want to break anything. Um, it's like one in the morning so everything's calmed down. So it looks like there's actually like a, a day cycle even though, um, you know, the, the atmosphere hasn't changed. I'm sure that will be added later in the game. I, I actually don't know. But, um, you know, uh, I'm wondering if about 5, 6, 7 in the morning, uh, things are going to start picking up. And you're going to see all these folks who have moved in start uh, going to work. Oh, this is great. It's just cow farm. It's got money. It's eating grain and meat, and it's producing dairy goods. Um, vegetable farm. Uh, yeah, see, look, it just turned like 5 in the morning, and now we got a traffic jam at this because all these folks are coming here to go over there. There you go. So everybody woke up, and everybody's at work now. So that, right now there's not a lot going on. It's not very big, but, oh, look at that. Uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, and everybody's going to work now. Oh, wow. Now... I do know that uh, he also has, like right now, I'm a only, I only have two roads, but he has a way, and I don't know if I just didn't know how to do it, um, where you can just add lanes at will, and then you can change where the lanes are and stuff. You need to uh, look look into this guy. I'm going to show you um, the subreddit, uh, I think, at the end of this video. But this is really, uh, I, I'm really proud of this little town that I built, in, and it took... Uh, once I figured out how to control it, it took almost nothing. I think the controlling scheme still needs a little bit of work. It part, part of it is probably I just need to be retrained because I'm so used to other city builders. Some of it, I think, um, you know, could use some refinement uh, just as some constructive criticism. Um, I think it's a little bit too bright, um, and that's partly a function of my screen, but uh, I, I think it could be... Uh, it could use some refinement as far as the colors go and i don't i don't expect that that to happen for a while because i think right now he's just trying to get the content in there and then we can worry about what it looks like already when when i first started these are already like they're kind of 3d the the cars now and they have colors when i first started they were literally just like little dots they were just dots so um that's already an improvement and so and you got little trees here now, which is kind of cool. Um, and they look great. And I love how the trees just kind of stayed there among the buildings. Um, so it's not like you took trees down. Um, that already feels more realistic than the way, like, even City Skylines does it, where um, when a, a, a building starts to build, um, all the trees that were there get cleared automatically. And then any trees that are there afterward come up with the asset that was built. I love how this, the the building, the house, just built around the existing trees. I love that. Um, so we're going to have a lot of fun with this game as going forward. I'm not going to be posting regularly here necessarily, um, but as the city, uh, uh, as the game progresses, as the game content progresses, I'll probably come back to this every once in a while. But uh, definitely check it out. This is City Bound. Um, and... Uh, it was built by uh, Anselm Ekoff, AE Play, and um, he got all kinds of patrons here. And you should definitely, um, if you're interested in something like this, check it out. Um, and I would very much uh, encourage you to support this guy. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.